Hi, everybody. I'm back. Guess what I did over the weekend? The same shit I always do. I went out looking for videos. Not just videos. Anything horror-related, obviously. Um, and I had, I had good luck. I won't say it was a stellar weekend, but it was decent. Before I forget, I almost forgot. I'm running a contest this week. The fine folks at uh, Sector 5 Films sent us over some stuff to give away. And I'm going to do that. And all you need to do... I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to tax your brain. So all you need to do is just share this fucking video with all your asshole friends or wherever. And next Tuesday at two, when I do this same video, I'm gonna pick a name of every out of everyone who shared, and one of you assholes will win it. This prize package. And I'm about to show you. And here it is. It's three uh, brand new DVDs. This one, I don't know if it's... I, I think it just got released on DVD. It's been on VOD. Decent film. I watched it. These are all brand new, but they're not shrink-wrapped for some reason. They sent me new, unshrink-wrapped movies. So we got... Uh, Three Hours Till Dead, decent film. Uh, Angel of Reckoning, I have not watched. Could be great. In a Dark Place Inside, which I have seen, and it's, it's pretty good. It's gritty, gritty and gory. For all the gore hounds out there. So we're giving away these three movies from Sector 5 Films. Uh, they don't look brand new, but they are brand new. They smell brand new. I'm getting high off the chemical plastic smell. Um, so yeah, share this video. And next Tuesday, we're going to give this fine package away to one of you dickweeds. Next Tuesday is our Horror Hound edition of this because I'm <laughs> flying to Horror Hound on Thursday where I will be doing live videos. Watch my Facebook page. You'll see all kinds of drunken dick fucking whip outs and, and people fucking face planting and puking in the bushes maybe. I don't know. But uh, we're going to walk around and, and show you some of it. It's one of the best conventions in the country, if not the world. And uh, I go almost every year. It's an extravaganza, if you will. So, come back next Tuesday at 2. Tuesday, 2. And share this video. Maybe you'll win. Let's get to the shit that I found. I was, uh, I was going up with a box of goodies to my old buddy, Grindhouse Mike. Or enemy, friend, enemy, whatever. I don't think we really like each other that much, but we tolerate each other. Um, so I had a bunch of stuff that I wanted to trade in. You can do that there at Grindhouse Video. As long as you don't bring garbage. Bring good stuff. Little rare uh, cult films. Don't bring fucking Titanic to the man. Because he will laugh you out of the store. I've never seen him laugh, but he may laugh in that instance. Um, so I brought a whole bunch of cool stuff, mostly cool stuff, to, uh, to dump off on the man, to get rid of. <laughs> on the way, of course, 
It, wherever I go, you can just assume that on the way, I will be stopping at thrift stores. It's part of it. I squirreled my way up the back secret way. Thank you, mother. My wife's here and uh, stopped at some some secret thrift stores that I'm not going to tell anyone where they are ever again, never. So uh, I did okay. I found some pretty cool fucking shit. Without further ado, let's take another sip of coffee and then show you. Just a quick one. I mean, I got, I, I, I got it, okay? They were fucking cheap, like 25 cents a piece. I know it's not a good fucking movie. And it stars, uh, that chick from Baywatch. Can't find her name on the back, that bitch. Not, it's not a good entry. But I wasn't sure if I had it in my collection, and, you know, I do like candy, man, and I am a completist. So, we'll find out. I either will put it in my collection or eBay. So there's that. 25 cent. This was, this I'm kind of excited about. Shark? Starring Burt Reynolds? Burt Reynolds was in a shark movie? I did not know that, did you? I did not. 25 cents. Burt Reynolds. Shark. I love I loved animal attack movies, so like and Burt Reynolds is cool. I'm pretty excited about watching that one. This I just recently found on DVD at a dirt mall. And I said I was going to save it until next uh, Halloween and watch it. The extended version. Because they deleted uh, extended version and they added the TV footage. Uh, it wasn't me. They extended the TV footage that they had to add on after they cut all the good parts out. Not to scare the little children's in the world on TV. So they uh, they filmed some extra footage to, to throw in there, and they and they fucking cobbled it all together into one big fucking fat movie that runs only an hour. Oh, this is this is embarrassing. Spam. I never. No one ever calls me. It's always spam. What happened to the fucking don't call list? It's gone, right? I'm not the only one. You signed up for that list when you got your cell phone, cause, and then they couldn't fucking call you? That's fucking gone. That doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> you're fucking, you're at their mercy now. Yeah. But I digress. Back to movies. So yeah, I'm excited. It's only 104 minutes. I guess. Anchor Bay release. 25 cent. DVD and VHS now. Cool. Uh, you know, I probably have this. I get excited. I'm like, most, I mean, most of the time you go to fucking thrift stores and they don't even have horror, you know? They, like, burn it when it comes in because it's fucking, it's unsavory to them. They don't want to look at it or whatever. Especially the Christian ones, but I don't, I don't go to those. Uh, go to fucking North Carolina and try to find a horror movie at a thrift store. Mm-mm. No. They're not there. They're, they're um, kind of absent for some reason. I don't know. Like, they have a lot of VHS, but they're, they're, the horror movies are gone. Conspiracy? Yes. So, yeah, I got this. I mean, I pro like I said, I probably... I have it, probably. But, uh, it's got, you know, I saw the picture of Brad Dourif on the back, and, like, 
all of a sudden my pants got tight and I just wasn't thinking straight. All the blood fucking rushed out of my head into my pants. And uh, I got it for a quarter. It'll probably end up on eBay for somebody to buy. This I'm actually excited about. I've probably seen this movie conservatively 15 million times out in the wild looking for VHS. And it wasn't until just recently, because of my new obsession with with collecting crappy like hairband or just rock songs from like soundtracks of the 80s, a horror soundtracks of the 80s. I know. I don't know where it came from, but I have it. I I'm fucking right in the middle of it now and I I'm, I'm dealing with it. Um I found the uh a song titled Dead Heat from the movie You guessed it, Dead Heat right here. And uh I didn't realize it was a horror movie. But it is. It's like a it's a horror comedy about fucking zombies. With a fucking juiced up fucking Joe Piscopo in it and uh, Treat Williams and shit. And uh, ever since then, I almost bought this on fucking eBay because I, I was like, this is a fucking horror comedy about zombies? I don't, I've seen it so many times and now I feel like a fucking dickhead for passing on it. I should have bought it, right? You have little patience. You just got to keep pushing until you find it for a quarter. A quarter. It's listed as action on the side. That's backwards. But it does say action. I'm excited to watch it. It's going to go in pretty quickly. There's levels of like, like I find a movie that I haven't seen. I have racks of them. But then uh, there's movies that like I get excited about and I find them and it's like, well, that is going straight into the fucking rotation for early watch. This my wife found. Um, just crappy, cheap DVD. 99 cent DVD of probably some public domain uh, movies. But uh, it was only 50 cents, and it's got a bunch of movies on it that I haven't seen. I like the old 50s sci-fi movies. Uh, Cosmos War of the Planets, never seen, never heard of. Assignment Outer Space kind of sounds familiar, but I don't think I've seen it. A Voyage to the Prehistoric Planet, and Warning from Space. Uh... I mean, obviously, I'm familiar with that image. That's, I think it's a Japanese movie, if I'm not mistaken. But I, don't, I, don't, I haven't seen it. These are all probably Japanese or Italian. But those are cool. They're fucking cool to watch. I hope they're all Japanese and Italian. Because, um, you know, this is... I like getting shit like this because you don't, you don't have to fucking worry about like what happens to it. You throw it on your fucking in your TV stand or next to your fucking DVD player, and uh, or just leave it in your DVD player, and you can't sleep at night, you know. And you fucking, it's there. You don't care if it gets dusty and fucked up because it's a fucking, it's a fifty cent movie full of fucking pu public domain fucking releases. That's what like you know like companies like Mill Creek, those those kind of compilations are all right, you know stress-free you get some of the shit that like i bought at fucking grindhouse video there's a little fucking stress involved i'm not leaving that fucking out anywhere to collect dust i'm gonna dust it if i do and uh you know there's maintenance involved and i worry about them i lay in bed and worry about them like they're my children this is really cool i found these are all the, you know, squirrely, squirreling my way up the back way to visit Grindhouse Dick at his dick store. And uh, I found this. 
It's a pretty cool, I mean, just as far as video store culture goes, I know it's a chain, which makes it much less cool. But uh, Hollywood Video, you know, they weren't like, they weren't the fucking enemy like Blockbuster turned out to be. They didn't fucking crush everybody. Well, maybe they did, but obviously Blockbuster crushed Hollywood Video, and they were gone. But uh, this is a this is a movie that's never been released on digital. May never be. And uh, Hollywood Video released like they got a little made their own little slipcases. They're pretty cheap, but um, you know this is a Magnum release. Which is a cool company to collect. The Hollywood video. Um, I'm going to sell this. Because I already own the movie. Uh, uh, like a copy with the original slipcase. And the same Magnum release. Uh, so I'm going to sell this one. And it was in a squeeze and shake. If you don't know what a squeeze and shake is. It's this. Because when you get when you pull the movie out. You squeeze it and shake, and then the tape comes out, but it's a protective case. And this is fucking funny. Funny. To me. Somebody wrote Blood Savage on the side of it. Maybe that's a different movie. But uh, this is Blood Salvage, and this is Blood Savage. Hold it up to your mirror. It's not my fault, Facebook. Contact them and tell them that their fucking app sucks. I, I actually should do that. It should be a way to fucking reverse the image as it's pointing out this way. It's not, it wouldn't be that hard. An option. Do you want, do you want the image this way? No. Click reverse image. Thank you. <laughs> Tangents. You know? Blood Savage. Misspelling. I thought it was funny. I kept it just to show you guys. Before I get to Grindhouse Video, uh, my buddy Dimitri came up and we watched, uh, you know, he came up last minute. We watched a movie. Um, then Sunday we went out and hit the thrift stores again. <laughs> you know. Goes without saying. But I did find this. I found nothing because Dimitri is an albatross. Every time I every time I go thrift storing with him. Well, there was one time. There was one time he got the media release of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That one time. He found something good. I found part two. Still pretty good. But when I went out with Dimitri, the only thing I found was this. And the funny part is, is that I have one of these and it's all sealed in the box. And like, I collect VHS culture, like the whole thing, you know, it's not just about the movies. I'm nostalgic about all this stuff, you know, and this is old. 80s, 90s, maybe. Um... You know, you can put your, your VCR on top of your TV. It's a fucking shelf. So I have a sealed one. This one's all open and ripped and fucking falling apart. But it was complete. It appears com to be complete. And uh, I, wanted to I wanted to get this for four bucks. To, uh, so I could actually like assemble it and put it on a TV. I don't know if I'm actually going to. Because after I bought it. I took it all out, still all packaged in plastic and stuff, it's nice. It seems really fucking shitty. Whoever joined just now, it seemed shitty. And they're gone, just like that. One dirty word, out. Fuck you. So, uh, I don't know if I want, it's like, to attach it to your TV, there's a series of like adhesive fucking pads. You peel off the back and, like, stick it to your fucking TV. And, like, I'm not sure I want to do that. TVs get warm, you know? So, like, that adhesive is going to get, like, gooey and shit. And it'll probably, like, start sliding down the back of my TV. And, uh, 
I, I don't know if I want to do that. And and on top of it, it seems really shitty, crappily produced, thin plastic, and like, I mean, they're showing like, they're showing you put some pretty fucking heavy shit on there, and like, I'm not going to. If I do put it up there, it's gonna like I'm put a fucking feather on it and like call it a day. I would be scared to put something heavy on it. But now I have two of them. Just like that. Did I mention I went to Grindhouse Video? It's in Tampa. On MLK. I know, but it's like... I'm not going to tell you it's the safe part of it, but like... You probably won't get killed. So I brought a big box of, uh, you know, DVDs, mostly VHS, a lot of, uh, a lot of rare comedies, teenage, coming of age, R-rated comedies, and, and shit like that, that, uh, I didn't know what to do with, but, uh, he sells a lot of that shit easily. He went through my stuff, begrudgingly, because he doesn't like to see me walk into a store. And uh, ended up giving me a hundred bucks in credit, which is very generous. And I, you know, like, I just was whipping around the store with a huge boner. Like, you can't fucking, you can't fucking pick. It's too fucking much. There's too much. There's a dead format room full of fucking, like, thousands of VHS, all prices, um... Laser discs, soundtracks. He's got fucking books now. Um, it's just fucking insane. And like, if you you know you give a fucking fiend like me a hundred bucks and say like, here go fucking spend that. I was in there for two hours, over two hours. I didn't. I it felt like ten minutes to me. My wife had to. She told me later, it it was two. You were in there for over two hours. And, like, she was, like, fucking passing out from low blood sugar because she wanted to eat. And, uh, and fucking Mike and his, his grumpy beard wanted me out of there. Um, but, like, I, I just couldn't fucking decide. It's too fucking, it's too, it's, it, like, it was just shorting out my brain. It's too much. So, uh. I did end up fucking going over a hundred dollars easily. I should, I could have spent fucking more. Uh, and uh, before I show you, there is one thing that sucks. <laughs> Grindhouse Video announced that uh, they were going to be pre-ordering uh, the Keep from Australia. Now, if you don't know about the Keep. It was released on Betamax, VHS, and Laserdisc, and then <laughs> that was it. No DVD, no Blu-ray, nothing. And like all signs point to the fact that the red tape is so fucking thick with, with this fucking movie. Nobody knows who fucking owns it. It's owned by like 50 different companies. Uh, they can't get the rights to fucking re to re-release it on anything. So um, he, he announced that there was going to be a pre-order on Australian releases of The Keep. And as somebody that's been hunting for it forever out in the wild uh, and on eBay, like the laser discs are like a fucking $80, $100, and the, the VHS are like 20 to 30 maybe, something like that. It's just like stupid expensive. I'm like, this is my fucking opportunity to fucking cheat the system, all region, Australian release of the keep. Fuck America and your release. I'm I'm gonna buy this for uh, fifteen dollar, and I'm done. I don't have to worry about it anymore. It'll be on DVD. I don't even care if there's a Blu-ray release. I really just want to watch the movie again, you know. Well, after I pre-ordered. I uh, I started reading things online about it in the and in like Facebook collector groups and stuff, 
And people were saying, you know, we're talking about it, and they were like, dudes from Australia were like, that's not an Australian, actual Australian release, it's a bootleg. Um, because I would know if it got released here. Well, lo and behold, I pre-ordered it, and uh, I just, I picked it up when I went to Grindhouse Video. It is a bootleg. <laughs> and it sucks. It sucks. I paid $15 for a bootleg. And it's not really even a good one. The picture quality's pretty bad. The sound's pretty bad. The case is terrible. It looks like a bootleg. Um, like it's got like a fucking title screen from like 1995 that somebody made at home. This is kind of like a just a crappy fucking print at home fucking thing. I don't know what happened. I'm not sure what happened. When I got there, I was talking to him about it and he was like, it is a bootleg. But, it, you know, the quality is really good. It's really not. It's not that great. Very... I mean, you can get a bootleg for the of this at a fucking con for ten bucks. So... Asshole. This is why pre-ordering sucks. Because if I fucking found this, I would look at it and be like, this is a fucking bootleg. But pre, you don't know when you pre-order stuff. You don't know what it's going to fucking be. So this is like the first thing I've ever pre-ordered from fucking Grindhouse Video. And uh, it's a fucking bootleg. And not a good, a well-made one either. Um, so I'm here to tell you. Sucker fucking Monster Movie app here. Is here to tell you that like, don't fucking buy this. <laughs> I'm glad that I have a copy to fucking watch. Because I haven't seen the movie since I was a fucking kid. But, um, you know, don't don't buy this for $15. Go to a con and there's like 50, 50 bootleg tables and you'll get the same fucking thing. Uh, I'm, it's, I think it's just a rip of the fucking laser disc. And, you know, if you ask them at the cons, like what the source is, just make sure it's not VHS and it's fucking laser disc. And uh, you can, make, I don't know, they're like 10, 5, 10 bucks, depending on. And, you know, it's it's not going to be, it'll be the same fucking quality. So there's that. Lame. Now on to happier things. $100 of fucking Grindhouse video credit. Here we go. This is another thing. I found that I didn't. Uh, this is on me, I guess. I found this in the fucking uh, bargain bin for eight bucks. This is a great movie. Where is it? That's a great movie. The Inhabitants from the Ramusis Musin brothers. I think they did Dark Cell. They they wrote the Ward script. Um, <coughs> but uh, this is a really good fucking movie. I mean, it's dripping with tension. Good supernatural horror. Um, this case is all fucked. This case is fucking smashed in. The case is cracked here. And, I didn't notice this, it's a fucking, it's a promo or fucking some retard with a box cutter fucking destroyed it. So, like, this is all the way through to the fucking paper. I, 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 I should have checked it better. But, you know, there it is. I've got... I paid, like, new DVD price for, like, a fucked up DVD. Also not cool. So this is getting negative? I don't mean it to be. Those two things are negative, though. What, are you gonna, what am I supposed to say? It's a bootleg, and that's fucked up. But, like, that, I should have, you know, like, in the excitement, I didn't check it. That's on me. I should have said, like, hey, this is all fucked up, dude. Um, this was also eight bucks. A little Just Franco's. Um, can you even read it? The Sadistic Baron Van Kloss. Haven't seen this movie? Um, been uh, wanting to collect some more Just Franco's 
movies. And uh, here we go. Nice black and white. Beautiful. Nothing wrong with it. Not bootleg. Not cut. Nice. Laser disc. Wait till you see this. Ah, oh, this is fucking, fucking sexy. This was fifteen dollars. This is still shrink wrapped, brand new. The Invisible fucking collection. This is. Uh, it doesn't include the original movie. It's all the sequels that they made. So you got the uh, the Invisible Man's Revenge, the Invisible Woman. I'm off screen. The Invisible Man Returns, that's the sequel, and uh, Invisible Agent. I don't even know if some of these are like official sequels of the movie, I'm not sure. But uh, 15 bucks, brand new shrink wrapped. Um, it's thick, there's multiple laser discs in there, I'm guessing two, maybe three. Uh, <sighs> gorgeous. Uh, I'm saving the fucking sexy VHS for last. We're almost done. Don't worry. This movie I've always wanted to see. The House That Screamed. And uh, this is the uh, Scream Factory release. I did it again, didn't I? I blocked the screen. The Scream Factory release of this. And uh, I'm doing it again. It came out recently. But uh, I have the radio spot of this, and it just always sounded fucking cool to me. The description of it sounds cool. So, uh, there's like a fucking, like, really crappy indie low-budget film of the same name. And uh, be, be warned. This is, I think this is the only digital release of the film. Before this, it was really hard to fucking find um, in any format. But you, I would be tricked by the the fucking, the fucking uh, indie film of the same name a lot, and be like, oh shit, oh no, just like that, up, and then just crashing down. But uh, he had it, a whole stack of them. So I'm finally gonna get to see that. I'm very excited. My goal with VHS. I need to fucking cut back. Can you believe it? <laughs> Can you believe that I would need to do that? I mean, why would you? But I would like to, uh, you know, sell off some... Everybody calm down. Some of my collection. And, uh, and take that money and buy better VHS. Like... More valuable, extra sexy ones. So that's kind of what I did with these two. Um, on top of all the DVDs and shit that I got. I didn't say anything about cutting back on DVDs. They're small. You can fucking fit them in a small area. VHS, that's, you know, they're cumbersome. So uh, traded in a huge box of stuff. And uh, I got two sexies. Two sexies. Bigfoot. I've, I haven't seen this movie, but I've always admired the movie poster. <laughs> Look at that shit. It stars John Carradine. As a matter of fact, both of the fucking sexy VHS I got at Grindhouse, uh, they just, by coincidence, they, they both star John Carradine. It wasn't planned. It just so happened. But this is like... Uh, this is a bit of a different release. Uh, there's a clam, like the soft clamshell release. This is not. This is a, a hard case. There's the man. There he is. I think, I think this is about like big, f the Sasquatch, you know, like putting it to some fucking, some human females maybe. I don't really know much about the film, but I'm fucking... That's also going to one of the, you know, like the top of the rotation list. 
big box. Blood Tide. That's sexy. Bigfoot was 20 bucks. This was 20 bucks too. A little, you know, bumping it up a little. They make for nice, I mean, these big boxes on display in a shelf. Oh my god, forget about it. And also, I, I'm pretty sure I haven't seen this movie either, and I'm, I'm going to watch the fucking shit out of it. Also, John Carradine. I'm pretty sure. Am I fucking hallucinating? You know what? I might be fucking lying. I'm fucking lying to you people. This one stars James Earl Jones. I thought I saw a picture of John Carradine on here. At least, I, at least I'm telling you now. <laughs> Before the video ends. This is not a John Carradine movie. But, James Earl Jones. You know, the voice of Darth Vader. Sexy. The only downside with this one it, is that the, uh, the tape, I think, is missing the label. Comes in the, the big box with the... The sexy clamshell inside. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what the fuck that is. Somebody put the fucking FBI warning label on there. I'm pretty sure that's not original. I don't... What the fuck? This is... This is the gate. This is the gate to the tape. Somebody fucking put the put the label on the wrong fucking side? And then some fucking retard, like, made their own fucking label on there? <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this. I'm completely fucking confused. I mean, I can... Unless this is, this is like, a Continental Video, unless Continental Video put their fucking labels on the gate for some fucking reason... I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up and figure it out. I can take this fucking off and put it back where it belongs. So, you know, it's not complete and it's not in mint condition by any, chance, by any means, but like, I'll put that back together later. I've already prepared one. That's it. That's it. Don't forget to share this video because you could win these three movies for free. I'm not charging. Three hours till dead. Sector 5 Films. Angel of Reckoning. Sector 5 Films. All brand new. A Dark Place Inside, Sector 5 Films. You could win these. Just share this video. That's all. Share the video. Next Tuesday at 2, when I do the Horror Hound extravaganza, showing you all of the fucking shit that I found at Horror Hound in the vending room, uh, I'm going to be drawing from a hat. From this hat. To, show, to, to announce the winner... And all you need to do is just share the video. And I'll send you that shit. Until then, install the app, monstermovieapp.com. Wait a minute. I got Joe talking. Hey, Joe. Do you watch your VHS on HDVD? It's CRT, man. Um, CRT, when I, uh, like I work out on the elliptical, I watch most of my VHS like that. On a little like uh, 13 inch CRT with the fucking, with the built in uh, VCR. I love those things. I also collect those. But I have a projector room where uh, I run a, I can run the VCR through a fucking projector and then it, and it projects on a screen. Um, and that's also how I watch like the really good ones that I want to see uh, badly. And my mom said, did you see Joe's question? And the answer is yes. And I just answered it. Thanks, honey. 
So uh, monstermoviet.com, install the app. Today I have not done it yet, but I will be I will be adding this week in horror as soon as I get done here. And it will tell you everything that's coming out this week. Cons, movies, VOD, uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, um, Blu-rays from other countries, shit like that. That will be posted later today along with this video on Monster Movie App. So install the app. Until next time, thank you, Mother. Please, please enjoy and get the fuck out of my house.